viewers, thank you so much for tuning in and clicking on this video. It's the latest on trend with your girl, Biami. Big up <laughs> Who has been keeping up with the Kardashians? Wow, this is crazy. Kim Kardashian is being sued by seven of her former employees who failed to properly pay wages, refused to pay for overtime and wouldn't allow them to take meal breaks. Now, according to court documents, the ex-employees also say they were never paid on time and claim that they had 10% of their wages docked for tax, which she then didn't hand over to the authorities when they worked at her £42 million Hidden Hills mansion. The claims are that the former staff members were told that they were full-time employees when they first started, but then they were instead treated like independent contractors. This led to them losing out on any full-time benefits. Now, these are documents who accordingly have been seen by TMZ. Kim is also being sued for failure to pay overtime wages and for unfair and unlawful business practices. One worker even alleges that he was fired on the spot when he asked for overtime and sorry <laughs> gosh it's not even funny but it's just like fired on the spot you know jeez he was fired on the spot when he asked about overtime taxes and rest breaks he also claims that he asked about the rights of his son whom he says was only 16 but worked more than the minimum hours allowed for a child under California law. None of the employees received pay studs or intermissed wages and they also claim Kim failed to keep track of the hours they work. Kim is estimated around 705 million which is one billion dollars. This is due to her cosmetic clothing business as well as product endorsement and her income from keeping up with the Kardashians. Now, according to the Daily Mail, the lawyer who is bringing the case against Kim said wage theft and other workplace violations are a widespread problem in LA. My firm is currently investigating other potential violations against these defendants, as well as other powerful families and businesses on behalf of everyday workers. Kim's rep spoke out and they said these workers were hired and paid through a third party vendor hired by Kim to provide ongoing services. Kim is not party to the agreement made between the vendor and their workers therefore she's not responsible for how the vendor manages their business and the agreements they made directly with their staff. Kim has never not paid a vendor for their services and hopes that the issue between these workers and the vendor who hired them can be amicably resolved soon. How crazy is that though? It's like workers are working in your home yet you don't don't really know what's going on between the vendors and your workers but it's like you're the middleman like ultimately like you want to make sure that they are getting paid because if anything goes wrong your name is going to be at the center of it because they're working in your home right like surely that's how it should be like i get it she's hired people to um sort out payments blah 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 blah, blah and all that but like, I would think that you would want to make sure that everything is still cushy, like everything is working as it should, people are getting paid as they should, like not now that things are not looking good, now you want to be like, yo, 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 I ain't got nothing to do with this, like I pay my vendors, okay, and they do the dues, like I'm just, it's just my home, like, you know, that they are cleaning and all that, like it's only my home that they are looking after, like, what, come on that's silly like i just feel like that's just a bit crazy these are maintenance staff gardeners they are saying that she failed to properly pay their wages um they refused to pay for overtime and would not allow them to take breaks like so i don't know has she not like this is her home <laughs> i don't know how else to say it like seven staff complaining so you telling me that these complaints are not reaching you this is seven people that's complained so none of the complaints reached to you so what did you do about it did you investigate it did you make sure that they were getting it paid or did you just dismiss it because if you just dismissed it then it's kind of like you don't really care about your stuff you just care about your home being maintained your garden being maintained 
So to me, it's like you're just as bl- you're just as much to blame as your vendors or whoever. I think it's ridiculous. I think she definitely should take some accountability and blame for this. But it's crazy because it's like even though the show is ended, people are still keeping up with the Kardashians. They are still hitting headlines and. This is, I feel like accusations like this or these type of allegations are not really new to the families. Like, there's so many dodgy things that they kind of get away with. But hey, you know, that's what happens when you've got status, you've got money, you've got power, and you get away with these crazy things, you know. And it's always people at the bottom who always get mistreated and overheard and never get taken seriously. That's just my opinion. But thank you for tuning in and thank you for listening, guys. I'll speak to you guys in my next video.